start today's video, I just want to take a second to pay respects to all the families that lost loved ones on that helicopter crash that Kobe Bryant and his daughter were on. It is truly a tragedy. No one saw it coming, and it is just, it's awful that it happened. You know, if, if there was any way for it to be prevented, I know Kobe would have done that, but some things, you know, you just, you're not ready for. And um, that just goes to show that, you know, anything can happen. Any, any time of the day, any day, you always need to make sure that you're telling your family, loved ones, friends, whoever it is, let them know that you care about them. Even if you're mad, give them a hug goodbye. You never know when your last day might be. And you never know when you might not see them again. So just remember, always be grateful for waking up every day. You might not be in the best position in life, but you're here and you're waking up every single day. Your day will come and you will get your chance to be the great person that you are going to be in this world. But before we get the video started, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with a little eight second moment of silence for them. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to the vlogs, Ronnie's reviews, back with another video. As you see the title, you see the thumbnail, today's video is going to be my 24,000 800 mile update which yes i am doing for kobe after kobe's passing i am going to name my car after him so this is going to be the red mamba from now on and you know my favorite player has always been lebron but i've always been a fan of kobe as well and nobody can deny his talent nobody can deny the things that he's done for the game and he's just really a one of the all-time greats. And on that note, that is going to start today's video. Now, the things I'm going to be talking about today is going to be, you know, what were my expectations before I got my vehicle? Have this vehicle met those expectations? Am I happy with my purchase? Would I change anything? And just overall, is buying the 2019 Dodge Charger GT worth it? Like, was it worth buying? And I'll start with that. I would say, yes, it was worth buying. You just have to know that you are buying a V6. Of course, you will know that because it is a GT. So if you're shopping for a GT, you know you're shopping for a V6. So you're not gonna get, you know, as good of a sound as a VA. You're not gonna get as fast of a car, but you are gonna get a lot of other things that don't come with the V8, like biggest one, gas mileage. It's a lot easier to drive daily. Some people don't know how to control a V8, so driving a V6 every day is a lot easier than driving a V8. Now, would I rather have a V8? Of course, everyone would. I mean, who doesn't want a V8? But since I do have this V6, the Dodge Charger GT, I am 100% happy with my purchase. I would not go back and not buy this car. But on that note, I would also, if I had the money, buy a V8, if you get what I'm saying. Now, we are 24,800 miles in, and so far, everything's been pretty much perfect. I haven't really had too many problems. I know I put in a video earlier that I had that leak in my washer fluid, but it's gone away. I haven't had any problems with transmission, like no engine problems, mechanical issues, nothing. There have been like little rattles here and there, whether it's like in the door panel with, with music playing or my speedometer does this thing for some reason on the RPM, the rev monitor. Whenever I stop certain times, it drops down to 500 RPM, which it usually idles at 750 RPMs. And it kind of vibrates a little bit, but from what I've seen and what I've heard and people I've talked to about it, it's normal, so. I guess that's not a problem and it's nothing I can complain about. But other than that, man, everything's been perfect. Uh, I love my car, I love everything that it comes with. I really do like the GT package and how it comes with the, you know, performance packages, the, the better hood and the air vents on the side and the quarter panels and everything. And it's, it's, it's been a really good car. 
now would I say it's better than you know going for RT or you know scat pack? Probably not. But the only case I would say it's better is if you just truly just want a V6 and you don't care about having a V8. In that case, yeah, it is better because it's a V6. It's what you're looking for. And it's not too slow, but it's not too fast. So when you hit the gas, it's not going to throw you back in your chair. You're not going to get whiplash from it. You know, it'll get you up to speed pretty quick, and that's about it. But then again, it's not the slowest thing in the world either. You know, if you're in traffic and let's say right now I'm going 80 and there's a car next to me and he's, you know, neck and neck with me and he stays at 80, I just, you know, I don't even have to drop it down two gears or so and I'm, you know, taking off and you're up to 100 in, you know, a few seconds. So it's not extremely slow. It's not extremely fast. I think it's very well balanced for V6 and it is a very well built car and I'm, I'm just overall really happy with it another thing that i'm not sure if i've touched on before i might have touched on it in the first first or second video that i've made is how quiet this car is i'm going 80 on the highway right now you can't hear anything you might hear a little bit of road noise but that's normal you can't really block out road road noise but as far as wind noise goes, this has been the most quiet car I have ever driven as far as wind noise goes. I could be going 120, 130, no matter. You, I guarantee you, you will not hear wind noise. So if you don't like cars that have a bunch of wind noise and just are poorly insulated, then you will not have a problem with this car, I promise. It has been extremely great with just isolating sound inside this car even with the flow masters on and the drone and everything it even blocks up the drone pretty well but it's also not so insulated to where you don't hear the exhaust like if you hear it now you can hear it other than that man it's just it's been a really good car i would 100 percent recommend it to anybody that is looking for a v6 before I got this car, I did look at getting the EcoBoost Mustang. I looked at the V6 Camaro. I looked at the Challengers even. And the Challengers and Chargers are going to be pretty much the same. So you just kind of pick if you want four door or two door. But as far as versus the Camaro and the Mustang, personally, I like the Charger a lot better than all of them. I like the look of them better, especially the GT package, how it comes with everything. It's a lot more roomy inside. You have a lot more space for really anything. When you get a Camaro or a Mustang, you never know if you're gonna have enough space. You know, the back seat, you can't fit really anybody back there. If you do, y'all are all gonna be, you know, pinched and squeezed tight, like, you know, big sardines. You know, the Mustangs and Camaros are quicker because they are lighter. But other than that, that's really all they have on the Charger. And if you're buying a V6, then you're not buying it for quickness. You're buying it for practicality. And this is probably the one of the most practical V6 muscle cars that you can buy. So I would 100% recommend it. And on that note, on that note, we just passed over the 24,800 mile mark. And for Kobe, do a little pull for you. Drop down two gears. Yes, I know that was very weak and Kobe would not approve that. So once this light turns green up here, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a, a better pull. Go ahead and put that thing in sport. instance right there I by no means anywhere did I you know pedal to the metal 
and it still accelerated extremely well so that's what i mean by it being pretty quick you know not super fast but not super slow either it is really just a really well balanced vehicle so if someone was to ask me the question was buying the 2019 dodge charger gt worth it yes it was worth it if you're thinking about getting one get it if you're thinking about getting the sxt don't get the sxt spend the extra two thousand dollars for the gt i promise you will not regret it and on that note today's video is effectively over i appreciate y'all for stopping back by again please if you do like the video drop a like comment down below what you think about the 2019 gts or really just the chargers in general statistically showing over 90 percent of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed so if you can please hit that subscribe button also ring that notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos like i said i do have a lot of great content coming out very soon but i'm going to be doing a lot of great mods to my charger it's b6 if you don't know and every single one i'm going to have full instructional video on it how to do it how much it costs if it was worth it so on and so forth so you will not regret subbing to my channel also, if you do not know, I will be giving away $100 whenever I hit 1,000 subscribers. So the faster people subscribe, the faster you will have a chance to win $100. That is not clickbait, that is real, 100%. I will be giving away $100 as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can get that contest going. Other than that, I appreciate y'all for stopping back by. It's Ryan Reviews, I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.